Disclaimer. Efforts have been made to not to infringe with any copyright. If so, it may be brought to the notice for acknowledgement in future editions. No part of this digital content may be reproduced, stored or distributed in any or by any means either on paper or electronic media unless authorized. Digital content for candidates with speech and hearing disability. Sector Gem and Jewelry. Subsector Handmade Gold and Gems Set Jewelry. Occupation Polishing and Cleaning. Reference ID PWD GNJ Q0701. Version 1.0. NSQF Level 3. Polish and clean the completed jewellery frame and components. Unit 2.12 Final polishing or buffing. Unit 2.12 Final polishing or buffing. Unit objective At the end of this unit, you will be able to understand the final polishing or buffering process. Unit 2.12.1 Introduction to Final Polishing or Buffing Buffing is the final step of polishing which is done by the help of a buff machine. After creating the manual master, polishing it is compulsory before casting the same product in a large quantity. The luster component removes the tool marks and the other scratches which come at the end of the production. The rouge component makes it shining and enhances the beauty of the jewellery product. Buffing is achieved by using fine unstitches polishing buffs with rouge. The type of rouge depends on the alloy being buffed. Similar to polishing, hold the item being buffed at the lower portion of the wheel. Unit 2.12.2 .2, Buffing Machines and Tools Buffing Machine this machine helps in the process that makes the surface smooth by producing a high luster and mirror finish. This is done with the use of buffing wheels and buffing compounds. Buffing can be divided into two steps. Cut buffing, color buffing. Cut buffing step 1. This is preliminary step to coloring using a coarse buffing compound. This buffing operation removes scratches and makes the surface smoother. Black MRE polishing compound with a spiral swin buffing wheel is recommended for cutting down copper, brass, etc. Brown Tripoli buffing compound is not as coarse as black emery polishing compound but will cut and color copper. Cutting down may produce a bright, satisfactory result and coloring may not be necessary. Color Buffing Step 2 This buffing step brings out the maximum shine and produces a mirror-like finish. Coloring can take place after cutting down or right away if surface is smooth enough. Loose cotton buffing wheels are usually the best choice for colouring but spiral swing buffing wheels can be used also. Brown Tripoli buffing compound is a double duty buffing compound and can be used for both colouring and cutting. 
white polishing compound can be used to color chromium stainless steel brass and aluminum the finest buffing compound is dwellers rouge polishing compound and can be used to produce a mirror like surface polishing and buffing motors buffing or polishing motors can be used with a variety of different wheel types and compounds some polishing or buffing motors come with their own filtration systems they are used for normal polishing and buffing operations in jewelry polishing motors generally have two hardened steel straight or tapered shafts one at the either end if a motor has only one speed by choosing the correct wheel diameter intermediate sfpm surface feet per minute at any single shaft speed a smaller diameter wheel has a slower and a larger diameter wheel a great sfpm luster and rouge with the help of these two chemical elements that is luster and rouge we can polish the jewelry these compounds or el or elements are added to buffs wheels and other devices to either cut smooth or polish the metal some are very abrasive and leave a matte finish while others remove very little metal and create a high shine apply polishing compounds or jewelers rouge to a buffing wheel by spinning a buffing wheel on a bench grinder the heat and friction of the spinning buffing wheel will be enough to transfer the compound to the buff there is no need to soften or moisten the compound by heating or adding water to the compound only a small amount of compound is needed on the buffing wheel for it to work properly polishing and buffing wheels the main function of the polishing or buffing wheels is to carry out abrasive work to achieve metal removal to do this polishing or buffing wheels are mounted on polishing or buffing motors the desired result is achieved with the proper wheel type on which the properly selected abrasive compound is applied this is called dwell time polishing and buffing wheels can be made out of a variety of materials including cotton sizzel canvas etc most wheels and buffs are made with one of the three traditional centers that make them ideal for working with different types of metal a stitched leather center will add stiffness and durability to a buff a plastic center works much like the old traditional lead centers providing lasting durability a shellac center is an economical option that provides a tight fit on various tapered splinters types of buffing wheels number 1 spiral 
This is the most common type used on full disc wheels and almost exclusively on pieced wheels. Number 2. Concentric The stitching is done in concentric circles around the center hole. Number 3. Radial This sun ray pattern makes a wheel that is more uniform in density and one that forms pockets. Number 4. Leather wheel They are generally made of porous leather that will hold the adhesive. They work faster and last longer than cloth and felt wheels. We will review the buffing process for final polishing. Wheel rotates towards you. Apply light pressure to center of buffing wheel. The edge of the buffing wheel is the work surface. Wear protective gloves while doing it. Unit 2.12.3 Buffing Process Steps Number 1. Apply luster on hair buff. Number 2. Jewelry product is then buffed from all sides. Number 3. Change the hair buff has luster and place a new buff with rouge applied on it. Take the jewellery product and do the same buffing process. Now apply the above two techniques with cloth buff. Number 5. In the process of final polishing, leather buff is used. Follow the same steps as above. Number 6. Final result Tips Number 1. Always follow the process steps for buffing. Number 2. Follow the user instructions on how to use the chemical elements such as luster and rouge. Number 3. Be sure to wear safety gloves, face mask, so that you don't inhale the chemicals nor get your fingers hurt. Number 4. In case of any technical issues with the machines, inform your supervisor before repairing it yourself. Thank you.